This dead lady was a bug. I don't know, that came from that room. Yeah. Oh my god, Cage was going crazy! The cage was going crazy! Something just touched my arm. I swear to god, man. I swear to god, something just touched my left arm on my bicep. What if something was trying to lead us down here? Whoa! What the hell? I'm Mo Sarji. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns hide to, right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts or spirits would tell her, build this, build this, to fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. We are back with another paranormal investigation from a very, very special location that no one on the face of this planet has ever filmed before. Because of the exclusivity of this place and I don't know. It just started. What the hell is going on in this place? As I was trying to say, because of how haunted and evil this place is, no one has ever been granted permission to film an investigation because the owners didn't want to be liable for any possessions that could possibly happen to you in this house. There's a very, very dark, twisted tale and story to this place that Angela and I are going to share to you throughout this video. So I'm going to read from my notes because there's a long story to this place, but I'm going to give you guys the short story to basically why this place is one of the most haunted mansions in the USA. A special thank you to the owner of this place for allowing myself and Angelo to have the awesome honor and pleasure to film this place. We just walked around this house and I can tell you guys without a doubt this place is haunted. We've had some things happen off camera and even on camera. First of all, there was an exorcism done in this house that went completely wrong. Let me give you guys a little bit of a story to it here. So during the Underground Railroad days a long time ago, a very long time ago, an African-American slave named Joseph was captured on this property and he was killed. I don't know why they killed him. Probably because he was a, trying to escape or something, slavery. We are kind of close to Canada. Yeah, they did that to a lot of people. So where we are in the United States, there's a well-known route that people used to take to go up towards Canada or the northern states of the United States to escape the, you know... Slavery days. Yeah, slavery days. So he was caught here on this property. Before it actually was a big house, there was a little log mansion here. He was caught and he was killed and he was buried here. Till this day, his killers remain unknown because back in those days, they would just find you and kill you and nobody would ever talk about it ever again until later on in the years, people that search history, document this. The killer's names were never released. But that's not the only reason why this place is mega haunted, has demonic possessions and has had exorcisms inside of it. Apparently there's an ancient native burial ground on this property and this house was built on top of it. I don't know why they did that back in the day. It's creepy. Why did they used to do that? It's like a thing. I think yeah. it's like a I think it's like a fetish they had back then to yes. always build these houses on native burial grounds, which is super disrespectful and dishonorable. So it's believed by the owner and from the stories passed down with the owners and the generations of the families that lived here, there is a family that lived here which we're not allowed to name because they don't want people breaking into this place and coming here. There was a four generation of families, the same family living in this house that experienced paranormal, experienced a lot of hauntings here. And they believed that this whole house is a giant mega portal for demons because of all the bodies that are buried on the ground here. They don't know exactly where the bodies are, but they are here from what we're told. There have been tons of reports of UFO sightings on this property as well. So what's really going on here? Is this place haunted by UFOs? Is this place haunted by the paranormal? Is this place demonic? We're gonna find that out today. Are we going to catch some Sasquatches along the way too? Like, I don't know. But <laughs> what thing, else are we going to... The thing is, with the paranormal, it's it's not normal, right? Yeah. We're normal. Paranormal is not. It could be UFOs. It could be Sasquatch. I mean, if the place is a portal, it's right. home to any type of paranormal, realistically. It doesn't end there, though. There's more. There's yeah. more, and you guys are going <laughs> to love this. I know you guys are dying to see this place, but you're gonna love this. So there's a terrible story of Mary. She killed her brother. Mary was a girl that used to live here. She killed her brother. Doesn't say what her brother's name was. Apparently she had become possessed from evil energy, obviously from the portal here, from all the bodies that have been, I'd say evil, evilly buried here somehow. They sent a priest to perform the exorcism 
That field that went completely wrong, the priest apparently had a heart attack as he was performing the exorcism. Wow. He just dropped dead and had a heart attack crazy. during the exorcism. They brought a cardinal here to perform the exorcism. He apparently succeeded at performing the exorcism. He freed Mary of the evil demon that was inside of her, but they don't think that the cardinal actually cleansed this place of spirits and beings and demons and UFOs and whatnot because it's still active, it's still creepy, it's still scary, and we've actually had things happen here off camera since we've been here. We've only been here for a few hours. Yeah, like the owners, didn't they tell us that for the first month when they bought the house, they tried to live here? And yeah. Just like too many things kept happening. Yeah. Just... So the owners don't live here. They don't want to come back here. They don't want nothing to do with this place. They, they want to sell it, but they don't want people to fall into the demonic trap of this place as well. So they're on the fence about what they want to do with it. So the Cardinal clearly wasn't successful at clearing the evil from this place because there's still evil here. So that's why we're here today. Apparently the girl, Mary's room, the place where she was exercised um, or the exorcism was done on her is all the way up in the attic. We haven't been up there yet. We've actually just come into the house, changed our clothes, put stuff away into our rooms and we're going to be going up to her room and we're gonna be checking it out and we're gonna be investigating this house all night long. Smash the like button, subscribe to Angelo, his link is gonna be down below. Let's begin the investigation and let's see what we're gonna capture in this really haunted house tonight. I'm already feeling heavy hearted. I already feel a weird presence in here. It's not gonna end well if we sleep here tonight. I have, I have a terrible feeling that if we sleep here today, it's gonna be bad. So, oh boy, oh boy indeed. <laughs> let's get on with this investigation. Where are we starting? In the attic. Okay. I want to go straight to the attic. Okay, let's go. The investigation begins, and let me just tell you guys, from the few hours that we've been here so far, this place does give off the most craziest paranormal vibes. They do have religious stuff on the wall, obviously, um, but even that isn't doing enough inside of this place. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a... A tour, a walk around, if you may. Maybe we'll catch something during the walk around. Sometimes when we do that, we do catch really cool things on camera. Now, obviously, the crazy stuff in this house happened during the haunting hours at 3 a.m., the witch's hour. It's only 11 p.m. right now, but that doesn't rule out that we're gonna find something or something's gonna happen. I'm in one of the bedrooms right now. And, <laughs> oh wow, this is so cool. Check this out, you guys. Wow. What an awesome thing to have. This place is 5,000 square feet. It is really big, especially for back in those days. It was built in the 1830s. And uh, the people that built it, they weren't well off, but they were the first settlers in this town that we're in. Again, we can't give away the location because we don't want people breaking in, destroying the place, which happens all the time when we go to places. For some reason, the lights don't work in this room over here. So there is like seven bedrooms inside of this house. And keep in mind, for back in those days, you'd be considered a millionaire in these times, um, back in those days, if you had a house like this. The part of the house that I'm in right now is the oldest part of the house. It was actually just a log house on this side, and then the other parts were the additions where we were sitting in. Um, very strange, I'm getting very, very strange ringing in my ears all of a sudden. Very, very abnormal ringing in this room here. It's weird. It's kind of scary, actually. Like it's making me kind of dizzy. I don't know why that's happened now. We're making our way up to the attic. I will be showing you guys um, the house and investigating other parts of the house after. But right now we are going up here, which is freaking terrifying. <laughs> oh God. I don't even know if it's gonna open, but here we go. Let's see. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Whoa, dude, what the hell is this? Dude, it's like nobody's been up there in like 50 years. It smells like an abandoned house. Yeah, it looks like an abandoned house. Whoa. Hey, look at this. There's like two doors here. One door here and one door here. Look, they have locks from the outside. Oh, yeah. It's like they were trying to keep something in there. Yeah, they definitely don't want anything out or anybody in, I suppose. I hope we're not about to release demons right now. <laughs> Because that would be f***ing terrifying. So here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go in here. Just had to push the pull up, I guess. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, my God. Wow. So this is part of the old part of the house. Yeah. Wow, it is freezing up here. Yeah, it is. It's not insulated, right? 
This is an ancient part of the house. Look at this. Are these the blueprints? Oh no, man. These could be the blueprints. I don't want to touch them and tear them apart or something. Or it could be nothing. So up here, in one, I, I'm guessing it's the second room, we haven't gone in there yet, is where an exorcism took place. Oh, dude, what the hell is that contraption? Oh, dude. What? He's on the other side of this. Oh, what the hell? What is that? Wait, is that, is that behind the other door? This is weird. Yes. Hold on, let's check this out, you guys. Whoa. What the hell? What on earth hap- what, what on earth is this? Is this some sort of torture device? I have no idea. So, one of these room- like, one of these rooms were the room, but here's the thing. Yeah. Look, they're connected. Two sides, two doors. Mm -hmm. You can still walk through there and get to the other room. I don't know what this is. This looks like some old... fashioned machine for something. Could be a torture machine, but... Oh, dude. Dude, look at this. Now, don't quote me on this. I don't know if this is a torture device, but I've never seen anything like this. This one here looks familiar. Yeah. This one looks very familiar. It almost like spins. some. I think this is a wool. Like That's something thinking, to, yeah. to create clothing and like a wool spinner or something like that. All made of wood. But this one here, I don't know what this is. What if they tied her during the exorcism? I just heard something over there. I'm pretty sure I got that on camera. What's up here? Are there any demons living up in these rooms? Oh, yo. Look. Oh, what the hell is that? Someone was scratching dates on here. Yeah. It almost kind of looks like... I don't know what that is. 18, 1842. That's dated to 1842. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This house was built in 1830. Is that 1842? Yeah, yeah. They just couldn't really form the eight, yeah, right? Yeah, I guess so. It's two uh, upside down fours. Mm -hmm. That makes an eight. That is wild. Oh my god. There's a name here. That's a date, dude. Someone had been locked up here. Someone was locked up here for a certain amount of dates. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 days locked up in this room. You know what? That, I don't know what that could have been. That makes sense because they did have to lock her up for the exorcism. Yeah. When the first priest died of a heart attack, they had to call in a cardinal, right? Mm -hmm. They had to wait back in those days. It took a long time. It's not like they had airplanes, right? Yeah. They had to wait a long time, possibly up to 30 days, maybe even more than that. I don't know. Maybe whoever did that gave up after 30 days or 27 days until the cardinal came and did the exorcism. This is fucking cool. Yeah, this is cool. I don't know what this could be. I don't know. It's just oozing. I mean, it could be anything. It's like oh, something, look. something out of hell. I've been you ask me. Yeah, I've been seeing ladybugs everywhere in this house since we got in. There's dead ladybugs. <gasps> what the f was that? I don't know. That came from that room. Is it from that? <gasps> oh! The attic door shut! No way. Something shut the attic door! What's here? What's doing that? What just did that? Show yourself! Don't be a coward! Where are you? Ah! What the f is that? You're all, you're all the way over there! I just seen you all the way over here! I seen your f right here! That kid! Okay, I just screamed like a little. I'm sorry, but yeah, get over here, get over here, get over here. There's something, f dude. I think we just let something out or let something in, or we woke something up. I 100%. We just woke some. Who said that? You heard that? Like a little voice. 
We 100% woke something up inside of this place. We're not stuck here. Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. Hey, I wanna lock this door. Although, although I think, I think we woke, we woke something up. I think we let something out of here. Yeah, close that up. I don't know what the f just unleashed from there. If we did just unleash something from the attic, then we're gonna have a terrible night here. We need to communicate with whatever did that. The attic closed and then that door shut and I had just seen Angelo with the tip of my eye at the end of that room so that it, it, there's no way he went anywhere near the door. We're the only two people here right now. Well, I screamed really like, yeah. like I, I feel bad for the viewers. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize for that. What's in here? I got all the lights on in my room right now. I'm not taking any risks tonight if I'm sleeping here. There's a weird smell in this room all of a sudden. What the hell is that? So there's this random closet over here. I don't know what is... What the f is going on? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, what the hell is happening? Angelo, get here. Come over here. Come here right now. The camera's not picking up on this, but I can see it with my eyes. Do you see that? Dude, the camera won't pick up on this. Is your camera picking up on this? No. Holy shit, this is crazy. What the hell? I don't, I don't get... How does it not show up on the camera? I don't know, it's not showing up on the camera. It's literally like... The lights are going crazy flickering. What if we turn on our own lights? Would that help? You know what? Change the, uh... Maybe change the frame rate on the camera. So this light that you guys are looking at are actually is actually flickering right now. I'm gonna try to film this with my cell phone. Maybe it'll show it differently. One second, guys. I'm gonna keep this recording. Yeah, the cam the cell phone's picking up on it. There we go. The cell phone is picking up on the flickering light. As you guys can see, I'm using the cell phone footage. This is crazy. This light just started going crazy mad in here. You got it on the phone? Yeah, kind of. Not perfect, but you can see it on the phone. Tap, tap on the actual light to adjust. I mean, my iPhone is capturing it. It's capturing it all over the wall. It's capturing it all over this. It's like strobe light type thing. What's going on all of a sudden? What the hell? It's crazy how this main camera isn't picking up on the flickering. It's going absolutely bonkers. There's something doing this. Look, this is only a, a dim light. Off, on, off, on. It stopped flickering now. I'm gonna keep it off. Just in case. Yo, this is this is gonna be scary sleeping here tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell is that? What's going on? What's going on with the lights? How the hell did that just happen? The lights just started going crazy. I haven't been inside of this room just yet. So this room here is just a, a little closet, really tiny closet. Not much going on here. Nothing inside of it. Get anything over there? No. Are, are you picking up anything on the K2 meter at all? I don't have my mommy. Oh, what the f? It was literally right there. Seriously. Dude, that's an old hat. Dude, could this be Mary's hat? I don't know. There might be something attached to this hat. This could be Mary's hat. Like, actually. This is crazy. Huh. Mary, is this your hat? Did they call these hats back in those days? I guess. I don't need a light in here. Mary, if this was your hat, make my K2 go to red. Spike it up for me. Come on. There, there. Not the heat. Something's tapping on something. I heard a tap, yeah. It's several. Huh? There's like several taps. I just heard the heat turn off. Maybe that's what you were hearing? No, no, it wasn't the heat. So where did you find this hat? It was literally right there at the bottom of the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs here? Yeah. Why would that be there? Right there. Where exactly? Right there. Right here? Yep. What the f 
Where did that come from? I have no idea. I've never seen, I haven't even I seen this. I haven't see it either. Strange thing, by the way, guys, every staircase, st step in the staircase has a lantern stand. Mm -hmm. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Well, is there anybody here? There shouldn't be anybody here, it's just us two. Demons, are you here? We should uh, try to communicate with whatever the hell is here through spirit boxes. Yeah, let's do it. We are about to perform a seance in this room. For some reason, when I walk into this room, I get the strangest, strangest feelings. And I just wanna like put my mind at ease. I'm gonna have the flux sitting here on the ground. K2 over here. I've actually brought in what I believe to be Mary's hat over here. Very old hat. It smells old too. Ooh, smell that. There's like old cologne or perfume on oh, it. Oh yeah. It's like a mix of like mustard and perfume. Yeah, it's very strange. So I'm gonna leave this up here on the piano. I've got a flashlight over here. If we do end up summoning something over here, then the flashlight might go off. It worked in the Shanley. It's already going off to red. No clue why the flux is going off right now. That should not be going off at all. It should be calibrating. It's just on red. Can you stop? Whatever's touching the flux, can you stop it right now? I turned it off for now. Keep your eyes on the flashlight, guys. If that flashlight turns on by itself, you never know, it might turn on. All right, here we go. Summoning spirits of the house, demons of the house, evil that lives in this house. Come forth and communicate with us. We're conjuring you up. Can you come give us a sign? My name is Mo Sarji and I'm here to communicate with any evil spirit that resides in this house. We want to know if there's actual demons or if this is actually a portal. Give us signs. Give us signs that this is a portal. Mary's evil spirit who possessed her. Are you here? We want to know what possessed Mary to kill her brother. Oh, K2 so meter. Crazy. Holy moly. Wow. Mary, are you with us? Just to confirm, Mary is dead now? Mary's dead. So there is a possibility that she could have come back? We don't know. Mary didn't die of the possession. She just died of old age. Yeah. You know, she left this house. She died of old age. Yeah, I think the only person who died during the exorcism was the priest. Wow. When you mentioned the priest's the priest, name. As soon as I mentioned that. Do you not like the priest? If you don't like the priest, make it go to red. <gasps> Whoa! Oh! That was straight to red. Wow. Oh my god. I, I don't know if they're able to see that. I wish I had my other camera with me. Yeah. I have other cameras around the house right now, recording. So I'm out of cameras to, to record this view, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are catching on that. It's right by the piano. Is there anything here by this piano? Touch my finger. The K2 just went off again too, I saw it blink. If you're in front of me, touch my finger. Maybe better yet, pull his finger. Pull my finger, although I'm not sure it's gonna end well for you. <laughs> Ooh. What? Something just touched my arm. I swear to God. Oh yeah? I swear to God, something just touched my left arm on my bicep. Whoa. It's like something, there was, there was no bug that flew into me or anything like you that. You said finger, not arm. Do you not know the difference? Touch me, you're free to touch me. But please don't harm me. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That came from upstairs. Yeah. It suddenly started getting really cold in here, too. What the f is that? Creaking. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Are we waking up spirits in this house right now? Do you not like us here? I almost thought the chandelier was... Is it moving? 
No. Which one? That one right there. No, it's not moving. I thought it was moving. Give us a sign that you're with us. In this room. Do something in this room over here. On camera. Oh my god, I felt that energy right there too. Guys, guys. There's literally, look, no one here. There is no one here. Yeah. Oh my god. Cage was going crazy. The cage was going crazy. Hold all the way to red. Oh my god, it's it's literally all the way at red. Look, 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 look. It's going crazy. There it is. Flashlight went off. The piano. Wow. I can't, I can't explain this. The piano started playing. How the hell is my battery at half already? I just put this in here. If this is a demon that just did that, can you make the K2 go back to red? Turn off your light. Can you make it go back to red, please? Oh! oh wow. wow! It's giving us something, dude. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Oh, something is touching my leg. What the hell was that? What did it feel like? Like a nudge? Because whatever touched my bicep, it felt like a nudge, like an actual nudge. I felt like something was like tickling me. Did you just touch Angelo? Let me know in the K2 that you touched Angelo. Make it spike up to red. Demon, if you touched Angelo, make it spike up to red right now and I will stop asking questions. Oh! <laughs> yes, it went straight to red. Okay, you just got touched by a demon. Dude, I, I flipped the chair over because I got so scared. Did you see how the flashlight started flashing? Yeah. Jesus. The exact moment that that went off. Okay, this is wild. Piano's starting to go off. K2's going off. We definitely have conjured up something right now, right? Yeah. It's still going. I see the K2 is still going. What a terrifying ass room. Can you show yourself in any way? Can you make a teddy bear fall off the shelf over here? What was that noise that we heard inside the kitchen? I have no idea. It sounded like it came from the kitchen, living room area. Yeah. We're going to see what the f was creaking. I hope my, my camera caught something creaking. We heard, it was like a creak, right? Yeah, I heard something. Your battery's dying? What was that? <gasps> Door we heard earlier. Hello? Was it this door that creak? No, it wasn't that one. Was it this door? No, that's not what we heard. No? That's what we heard. <gasps> That's what we heard. Was this door closed earlier? I think it was closed. I remember it being closed. This is the laundry room. Something opened this yeah. door. Like actually, something actually opened this door. Hello, what's over here? What's with us? We haven't gone down to the basement just yet. And we want to investigate. What if something was trying to lead us down here? Keep in mind, this is an 1800s house, right? Mm -hmm. Look at look at how look at these floors. It's like bricks and stuff. 
like slabs. Whoa. Oh, dude, look at this. It's like a, whoa. Oh my God, dude. It's raining in here. Yeah. Look. This is a fucking creepy basement. There's water coming inside the house. That's, that's how old this place is. Oh my God. Right? What is this? This is the strangest basement I've ever seen. What the hell is this? A pool? There's a pool here. There's a pool? Yeah. Look at it. It's sloped and everything. That's a pool? So this is a water tank for your house. Back where I lived in Lebanon, we had these on our attics. But we used to swim in it too. Wow, that's crazy. The fact that that's down here in this basement. To it. That's pretty much it, but it's a, it's a, look, there's grass growing in the basement over there on the window ledge. Yeah. Wow, guys, I, I didn't expect to see this down here. This is unbelievable. So cool. <laughs> Water, literally, the basement's flooding. Crazy. Well, there's nothing down here. I wonder if the K2's picking up on anything over here. Oh, we're not getting anything on the K2. Anything on there? Oh, no, nothing here. You'd think, because we are underground, and... Bro, I'm willing to bet you there's some bodies buried in that area over there. I mean, honestly, dude, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. If they built this house on top of corpses and bodies, there's yeah. going to be something in there, 100%. Dude, I bet if you were to dig, you'd probably find them too. Are there any demons down here in this basement? Wow. It's, it's, I've never seen a basement like this. It's terrifying. I'm trying to understand why on earth they would leave the basement like this and why they would let their house take in water like this is a historic place absolutely no reason for it to be like this like it's crazy <gasps> what the f is that <laughs> it sounds like somebody just ran across the f beams Oh, my, my camera turned off. I didn't even get that. No. Why is my camera off? It shouldn't be off. What did that? I don't know if we released something from the attic. Or we conjured up something on the seance. I, I believe it's the attic, dude. I believe it's the fucking attic. Wow.